This is what happens when a cast like this comes on stage. <laughs> <laughs> माइक्रोफोन कैमरा जूम करो ये करो बिकॉज दैट्स नॉट इम्पोर्टेंट ओके relax uh, thank you for coming uh, these are the students who hopefully will be the flag bearer of actor prepares for the next so many generations and uh, apart from the teaching great teaching that that's done by the amazing teachers that we have we also have these sessions where uh, we talk to people who have done extraordinary work we are choosy about it <laughs> and uh, i personally feel that Trial by Fire is one of the finest uh, shows that I have seen, and uh, and that's why you are here, Prashant. How did the idea come to your mind of wanting to make this series, and where, when did it gen generate it? Um, so thank you, sir, for having us, and thank you all for for coming and uh, for being here and having us here. Um, uh, sorry, I've lost my voice a little bit, so just tell me if you can't hear me. um uh, so i got the book actually uh, one of the producers gave gave me the book about uh, in 2019 and uh, i thought it was a very powerful story very emotional um i didn't know if it was possible to make it into a show because it doesn't really have a conclusion they're still fighting the con the victory is that they are still fighting they refuse to accept defeat it spanned 25 years there were no mysteries no twists no turns no uh the main opponent was basically the system in uh in action and stagnancy so how do you make a series about something like that which itself presents itself as very no drama you know in the traditional sense of it but uh i think that became an interesting challenge and uh i think in some ways that's true to what a, a hero really is in terms of fighting regardless of the outcome and finding that courage within you and and i thought the krishnamurtis were were examples of that and that if we could find in ourselves a fraction of that courage to stand up and fight for what we believe in then maybe that <coughs> things would be quite different um and then also you know there was something you know it wasn't this huge event that took place in the distant past it, it's some it's a cinema it's a place we all go to it's a um so i think those two things when we feel that it was relevant and an important and and potentially even inspiring that's sort of how i came shant to it. also made an amazing film which was uh, very loved uh, in sandance film festival called america with r e e k a uh, yeah. m u m r i k a yeah, yes america <laughs> which was a fabulous film um, how did you decide to uh, this for this amazing two people who have taken the series forward how did you decide that so i you know i've known both of their their work um you know for a long time uh abhe um you know obviously you know i've i've known yeah. his 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 very you know uh, much loved work you know um and and rajshreed you know has done a couple of fantastic films there's a film called as durga which uh sexy durga which she her performance was absolutely stunning so i've known of i want you know obviously wanted to work with them. I Abe and I just started discussing, he read the script. You know, we weren't sure if he would like it and then through the discussions, you know, he was responding to it and then he sort of took that leap of faith on on the project which uh and we were of course thrilled because uh he's an actor who I've ad admired for a long time and wanted to see you know uh back on screen in a, in a big way um and uh and Rachi so you know Rachi and I have known each other very briefly we met once and um always wanted to work with her um but you know the role was so kind of uh difficult that uh, you know i i asked her if she would kindly kind of just come in and explore with me a little bit and 
and we you were basically testing. Uh, I was, yeah. I, I don't like to use that word because I think the process is okay, uh, exploring is a exploring better is a better word. <laughs> um, so you know, she that's came the in. word Joshua used for me <laughs> when he was <laughs> testing me for the thing. Yeah, I'm glad that that's a good word. Uh, exploring. So exploring uh, the talent is a great word. Yeah. आपको कोई अब स्क्रीन टेस्ट के लिए बोलता है तो उसमें एक फीलिंग ऑफ फेलियर एंड सक्सेस की फीलिंग आती है एंड दैट्स दैट्स अ आई मीन नॉट दैट्स समथिंग मच ग्रेट थिंग टू लर्न या आई मीन नॉट टू डाइग्रेस और एनीथिंग बट यू नो दैट इज अ प्रॉब्लम इन द वे दैट यू नो एक्टर्स आर आर गिवन चांसेस बट एनीवे सो राजी केम इन एंड वी डिड दैट वन सीन वेयर शी यू नो शी फाइंड्स आउट दैट हर फ्रेंड्स सन is alive um and she did it and the first time she did it we were all kind of she brought so much emotion to it that we all kind of just we were all moved and very moved all of us the casting director my associate director and, and then we just kind of said okay great you know and uh we knew immediately that um that it was her so i think she said that we texted her basically on 13 january 2020 exactly 2 years 20 uh yeah 20 20 uh, 21 so exactly to the day 2 years be, uh, before the release wow yeah <laughs> that's very good abhi aapne bahut kaam kiya hai matlab you've been selective about choosing the kind of films that you've done uh main aapko apna reaction batata hu jab maine ye series dekhna shuru kiya tha because <coughs> i also happened to be it but i did it based on a conversation with you maybe mm-hmm. you do not know to me uh, kindness of a director is very important i think directors need to be very kind मेरा बेस्ट काम तब होता है जब डायरेक्टर काइंड हो मेरे को कोई क्रिटिसाइज करने वाला डायरेक्टर मिले वो ठीक है इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट टू क्रिटिसाइज बट समाउ आई फील दैट व्हेन अ पर्सन इज इंस्पायरिंग यू एंड एनकरेजिंग यू आई गिव माय बेस्ट मैंने पर्सन से यार अब करो ना ऐसा यार क्या है अरन एंड थ्रो आई विल नॉट बी एबल टू गिव माई बेस्ट यू आर वेरी काइंड टू मी ऑन द फोन इन योर एंड यू आर अ काइंड पर्सन सो देर वॉज नो वे दैट आई वॉज नॉट गोइंग टू डू दैट how did you decide uh, so i was telling you sorry i was telling you how it happened to me when i started watching the series and maine tab tak tareef sunni shuru kar di thi uh fir maine dekha fir main zyada 15 minute dekhta hu koi bhi series fir uske baad next day i don't have it maine dekha there was a lurking i will not call it only sadness but there was a lurking sadness when i was watching it and yet it was not depressing hmm so i wanted to watch the next episode and then the next episode and these two performances uh, kept me glued to it and uh, how did you approach apart from the instructions by the director or what is the better word for instructions explore Ex- uh, yeah. no, no, conversations conversation ye jo bahar padhe likhe log hote hain na ye apni soch samajh ke baatein karte hain apart from the script was good and everything but because uh, i worked with him how did you on your own work on the role what was your process <sighs> on my own um so obviously the prashant had briefed us uh, about the dynamics of the relationship i um, had discussions of my character with him as well how he seeing it took a few points so you collect all that data that information and you sit with it this every project is unique this particular one is a true story and it's extremely tragic so i found myself troubled because you're going to recreate something so tragic and i find and i think i'm not alone i think most people are like this it's very easy for me to have empathy for another but really not have so much empathy for myself i'm fine where i am what is your problem what is look at him look at her look at their situation blah 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 so i was very easily able to go into that and um, the more i explored their tragedy the more thankful i was for who i am where i am what i have and that just kind of slipped me into position um uh, at some point you just have to um i keep saying this over and over again now it's like and i use it for many different situations like just get over yourself mm. Uh, in this case it was being so grateful for where i am and who i have in my life and what i have in my life so it's philosophical it's emotional it's humanitarian that came about because this was such a tragic true tale yeah you know and i came with that to the set i want to i'll come back to you about about <laughs> the question 
but Rajni, what was your process? Uh, because uh, I'll tell you why I'm asking this question because somehow it reminded me of my first film. I was 28 years old and I played a 65 year old man who was dealing with the loss of his only child, uh, Saranj. Mm -hmm. uh, and I have, was not even married, no, no ch child, but I had to go through what I had to go through. Mm -hmm. uh, so what did you, what was the process that, aapne kya process chuna? intelligent answers basic answers I mean, I'm not expecting not intelligent answers. No, no, no. I will anyways not give a very intelligent answer or a very articulate answer because I'm messed up anyways. I feel, you know, whenever I approach any character, First of all, I'm very, uh, you know, honored to portray Neelam on screen. Mm -hmm. Her journey is, though it's a tragic uh, event <coughs> and everything, but it's very, very, very inspiring for me. First time when I got the uh, script and I was going through all the details because I'm a very, <coughs> I like to study. I like to go through a process, just like, you know, what we learn and, uh, as an actor, you know, go through the imagination, go through the, uh, you know, uh, in a monologue with everything. So I uh, I go through that process. I like to sit with my script and, you know, demark it properly and go through that, you know, okay, because anyways, we were not shooting linear. Mm. But you have to be so prepared that if you're shooting uh, 55 and if you're shooting 30,